Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. I am having a great day today, and I know what you guys are thinking, like, what's going on? If you follow me on Facebook, you already know that me and Alyssa are talking again. It's been eight whole days, and uh, she finally got in contact with me. But under the circumstances, it was not so great, because there was a lot more behind this whole break that we were on. Um, There's a lot more behind it than we thought, well, Alyssa thought, like I knew, I, I was kind of suspicious. Um, now, I'm not going to name names in this video, but basically the reason me and Alyssa were on a break is just because we were simply fighting, and uh, I told you guys that. And uh, so we took that break, like she, you know, blocked me and stuff like that, and I couldn't get in touch with her. Um, and it did suck, like you guys saw how depressed I was. I was just, I was miserable, like I never realized how much I took her for granted, and I'm going to change that. Um, I mean, that's not implying that we're together. We're still not together. We just decided we're going to take it slow. We're going to talk and see how things go with both of us. Um, but there was a lot of crazy stuff happened last night. So uh, there's this person. I'm not going to name names, but we're just going to call her Snake Bitch. And uh, so this person was kind of interfering with our relationship um, after the breakup. Like, she didn't really bother us during while we were dating. But then after this breakup, she kind of started to interfere, and um, she started har harassing me, attacking me on YouTube, on Facebook, things like that. And uh, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on, and I was so confused. And honestly, at first, I thought this was Alyssa doing this, and I was like, why is she doing this? I couldn't make sense of it. I was like, this is Im impossible. Like, I know her. Why would she do this? Like, I literally was starting to think Alyssa was having a kind of mental breakdown um, because I, this was just out of her character. She's such a loving, amazing person. And I was like, you know, even if we were fighting, this wouldn't be her. Like, something was just odd about this whole situation. And so this snake bitch started talking to me on Facebook and was like, first attacking me and then I was like listen you've got it all wrong I don't know where you where you heard that but that is not what happened that is not me like I didn't do that like accused of getting accused of sleeping with Alyssa's sister and stuff like that I was like what the f like where the heck did that come from um so I was thinking like she was like well I know it's true because Alyssa's sister who again is going to remain nameless um just to protect their privacy but I, I confronted Alyssa's sister and I was like Hey, did you tell, because this snake bitch was saying to me, I know you did cheat on Alyssa with her sister because she told me personally. So I confronted Alyssa's sister and I was like, did you tell snake bitch that me and you, you know, effed each other? Um, and she was like, what, what? No, I'm going to call her right now. And then that girl, snake bitch, started to be bitchy towards me. She was like, why did you go and tell on me? You got me in trouble. And I was just like, okay, something is odd about this now like I'm starting to get suspicious um, so I played along with it for a little bit um, and I was like acting all sad and stuff but I didn't believe anything that came out of this this girl's mouth um, and to be honest she's not part of Alyssa's family nothing like that she's like nothing she doesn't even know me she never met me personally so and uh, she doesn't even know Alyssa that well so I was like I knew this wasn't Alyssa I've known Alyssa for a long time and I knew this was not her something was fishy and uh, so, after that, uh, I started to play dumb, and I was going along with it. I was acting all sad and stuff to, to Snake Bitch, and she was like, listen, I, I believe you, and I've told Alyssa that I believe you, and now Alyssa's bitching at me too. Like, I don't know what, like, I think you're better than her. You should move on. You should find somebody else. She's doing this behind your back, and she started making up all these lies about Alyssa. Now, I'll be honest, at first, I did start to believe them, and I even went as far as attacking a viewer of mine because she got, a, she went as far as going on my Facebook, getting a picture of one of you guys. Um, I don't want to say his name, but you know who you are if you're watching this video. I just, I don't know if you would like me to put you on blast like that. But she got this guy's picture, and I recognized him because he's been a long-time viewer of mine, and uh, he's really cool, and I actually consider him a friend now more than ever. Um, and when I, she was like, this is the guy that Alyssa's cheating on you with, um, and I, I just, I don't know why I believed her. I should have, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have acted the way I did. But, like, I thought, like, 
I, I just because I recognized him and I just thought it was so strange how she picked his picture and I knew him and um, so I confronted him and I was like dude what the f like what are you doing like you know how hard this is for me and you just go swooping in there like that then I felt so stupid and so dumb and I literally broke down to this guy I was like I'm so sorry for acting like that when I realized the guy's married he's got children I looked at his Facebook and I was like what is going on but then when I confronted Snake Bitch, and I was like, this isn't the guy. I don't know what you're playing at, but this is not him. Um, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Um, she starts saying things like, oh, he told her. He's telling her right now. They're on the phone right now. He's telling her not to say anything. And I was like, this is getting real. Like, I knew what she was doing. I knew it was all lies, but I was getting really pissed off, especially the fact that this Snake Bitch doesn't know me. Um... And she's like, she knew I was obviously down and depressed and she was doing all this stuff and making up these lies to make it worse. She was saying, Alyssa's burned all your things. So I contacted the person Alyssa is living with who will re remain nameless. And I asked her, is it true? Did Alyssa get rid of all my things? She said, no, not as far as I know, it's still there. So again, another lie. And then she's saying like, she's hooking up with these like three guys, four guys. And um, then she, there was a lot of lies, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but they were crazy lies, and I was like, Alyssa wouldn't do this, like, Alyssa's gonna have you killed, she's got people hunting you down, she's going to get you thrown in jail, and I was like, alright, now this is pushing it, this is not Alyssa, like, this is not her, um, no matter what, this is not her, like, I love the girl, and know her more than anything, this is not her. So this girl was really starting to piss me off and I wasn't sure how much longer I could play along with it. And I was telling all this to Alyssa's sister um, who knows this girl and doesn't like her and I was telling her all of what was going on. I was like, she's such a freaking liar. Like, this is unbelievable. Um, so I carried on playing along because I thought the more lies that she tells me, the more proof I've got, you know, to show Alyssa what's being said about her. I didn't want Alyssa trusting this girl. So, uh, one thing led to another and, um, I, she, she was saying to me, snake bitch messaged me saying, Alyssa's on the phone with some guy right now. She's got her cleavage out and she's video chatting him. So I, I just said, prove it. Like I want I was getting so pissed off. I just said, prove it. Um, so she took a video of her, multiple videos of her voice notes of her on the phone. And Alyssa was on the phone, but she was on the phone to a friend of hers. Um, and in the video, she was wearing a hoodie. There was no cleavage out. And uh, I didn't, she was like, she's flirting with him. She's like, you know, telling him not to tell you that they're talking and he's got a wife and she's, he's promised like that she'll be his side girl and all this crazy, like this girl is demented. You, she is demented. And if you see this, you're fucked up. You're fucked up. I'm sorry for swearing guys, but this is just like unbelievable. Um, and I, I couldn't take it anymore. And all I said was prove it. Like she then, um, sent me like all these videos of Alyssa on the phone and stuff like that. And, uh, I went and told Alyssa's sister and this girl at the whole time snake bitch is telling me don't like show anyone these messages Please delete them and stuff like that. And of course, I wasn't gonna do that. I was keeping these to show people um, Sorry, but if you're gonna lie then expect to be ratted out, but hey ho don't play a player But anyway, I told Alyssa's sister um, Alyssa's sister then called Alyssa and told her what was going on that this girl sent videos to me of her and Alyssa took that the wrong way at first. She took it out on me. She was like, dude, you're weird. You're getting people to record me. I was like, no. I was like, you need to listen. Cause she had just unblocked me. So now was my chance. I was like, you need to listen. Do not trust that girl. Because Alyssa's been hanging out with her and stuff like that. I was like, do not trust her. She's telling you all these lies. And she's telling me all these lies. And there's so much crap going on. Like, you need to trust me. I know you're mad at me. We can put that aside for now. And just listen. I need you to look at the messages. Um, so anyway... It, she got found out. Uh, I was telling her everything was going on. I said, by the way, Alyssa, just so you know, I didn't believe a word she was saying. You can even ask your sister. I've been talking to her the whole time. Um, and she knows that I was playing along and all that. Um, and then eventually, yeah, Snake Bitch got busted. So, um, yeah, one point to Mike and Lissy and zero points to Snake Bitch. Uh, but that's what you get for playing with me. You don't know me and I don't know you. But if you're going to play with my feelings and hurt me like that with lies then expect to get ratted out and you, I hope you get everything that's coming to you and then she goes as far as accusing me of calling CPS on her child protection services and uh, I never did that just so you know I don't care about you or your children I really don't care you're nothing to do with me I wouldn't go ruining your life over this because I'm not like you I'm better than that uh, but you get everything you deserve for being a snake and lying and being such a slimy sneaky and the other thing she was saying she's actually got a boyfriend 
um, and she was telling me how she's been single for three months because her ex abused her and cheated on her and stuff like that. And her boyfriend's obviously really pissed off with her too. They were all there in the house when the messages were getting read out. So that's that's what you get for fucking with my relationship. Um, but now, yeah, it's it's worked out with me and Alyssa. We're talking again, and I told her, like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry for everything. Like, I just wish we could go back and stop the fighting, and I know it's been hard for you. And I just told her I I'm, I'm apologize for everything. Um, and right now we're just like, okay, let's just take it slow. Let's start again. We are going to, like, stay in each other's lives. And um, I'm not sure. She is going to post a video on this, too. So if you want to check out her video, link to her channel will be in the description. Um, but I'm not sure. She said she doesn't know when she wants to come back to YouTube. Um, so I'm not sure. I can't really tell you guys that. She is, like, dealing with a lot right now. So, uh, But, yeah, it's it's been... There was a lot more to this than I thought and Alyssa thought. And Alyssa trusted this girl. And that, that's all I was trying to do was reach out to her. I didn't want to say nothing on YouTube or anything like that about what was going on. Until, you know, I cleared it with Alyssa. And, uh, yeah, now Snake Bitch got busted. She got caught in a snake trap. Um, so, it serves you right. You get what you deserved. And that's what you, you get for lying and uh, interfering with other people's relationships, especially when I care so deeply about Alyssa, you would go as far as saying stuff like that to me. So I hope you burn in hell, you scum. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you get everything that's coming to you. Um, I hope you never find peace in your life. You're a scumbag. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm sorry I'm getting angry, but you, you want to see the stuff. There was so much of it, and she was saying all the stuff to me, and it was all lies. And uh, she was trying everything she could to hurt me as much as she possibly could. Um, but luckily enough, I'm not stupid. I read her mind, and I knew that this was a slimy, sneaky move just to get me to hate Alyssa and, like, try and ruin Alyssa's life or something, like, expose her. And I was never going to do that. I know Alyssa, and I love her. And uh, I just hope that we patch things up um, and we get back to the way we were, but even better. Like, I just... Ah, uh, God, it feels like so much better relief like the pain has gone it's i i just couldn't do it like i i thought i was a strong person i always did think i was a strong person but when it comes to losing her it was only eight days but man i felt like i was in hell um but yeah i'm just glad she's back and i'm glad she's okay and uh, i'm glad we're talking and working things out and uh, yeah, I'd love you guys to go and check out her channel and subscribe to her. And uh, thank you all so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving me. It really means so much to me. Um, it was a difficult time, like probably the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Like she's been my serious, one serious girlfriend I've ever had. And I, I just, I don't know, I just, I was suffering. And uh, I didn't say much, like I'm very quiet. I'm a quiet kind of person. Like I don't, I don't like telling people things, but that's what's gone on. And uh, now you know what's been like keeping us apart it's the snake that that got in the way of our relationship um but as of right now we're doing good and uh we're just going to take it slow and see how things go we got a lot of talking to do we got to talk about we need to trust each other more we got to like communicate with how we're feeling we got to like share a bit more about like we got to be more open with each other because we we kind of we're both kind of like a closed book um and it's not healthy for the relationship so we're going to try and work it out but for now we're just staying friends. We're just being cool. But it's so good to have her back in my life. And uh, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Remember to subscribe. We just hit 117,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much for that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, that's pretty much it. Peace out, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all.